One of the residents goes by Jake. He was evicted last month from a different homeless camp. I wish they didn't have to, they didn't do that and they were more peaceful. It's the third time in one month the city has moved to forcibly clear a homeless encampment. It says camping in parks is unhealthy, unsafe and illegal and that it's offered residents safe indoor accommodation. I think we can just see from where we are that none of those solutions are permanent. But some question whether the cycle of forcibly removing homeless residents only for them to return addresses the core issues. The challenge is the people who live at a better tent city are hard to house. They do live with mental illness, many of them, and or drug addiction. In Kitchener-Waterloo, a similar cycle of evictions was happening until volunteers unilaterally set up a community called a better tent city where homeless residents have their own cabins and access to supports. The city later donated land to the project. There's all kinds of ways that we've taken the, the tent city, the, the benefits of a tent city and improved on them and built a community. It's not something Toronto has plans for right now. Most likely I'll be probably putting up a tent somewhere because I, I, can't, I, I can't live indoors anymore. So for homeless residents like Jay, who have had bad experiences inside shelters, the cycle continues. Farah Morelli, CBC News, Toronto.